News, Rick DeBrule. Well, Bob, indeed, we do have some big news breaking just outside that main stage area. Out here in the garage where we've got some big news breaking for the first time ever, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is debuting its pace car outside of Indianapolis. It's happening right here in Scottsdale at the Barrett-Jackson event. You can see that we've got a list of dignitaries, and there you see it right underneath that silk sheet. And for this 2011 car, they're reaching back into history, taking a chapter out of Indy history. You see it there, it's going to be a 2011 Camaro, painted up, of course, to look just like that 1969 pace car, right there. Once again, this is going to be the 22nd time that Camaro has paced, or Chevrolet has paced, the Camaro has paced it before, and what's really spectacular is the vehicle you're looking at there is also going to be sold for charity on Saturday night with number one of the 50 Camaro SS convertibles to be used at the Indy 500 to be sold for charity. Whoever buys it will get vehicle number one. So once again, they just debuted it. You've just seen it here in Scottsdale before anybody around the country has seen the pace car of the 2011 Indy 500. Big news, Bob. Yes, indeed, Rick. And isn't that a beautiful reinterpretation of that classic Camaro pace car look? Well, indeed, Bob. It was a terrifically successful look in 1969. It's worn well over the years, and it looks great now for 2011. I've just been handed some documentation on that car, and along with the car, the winning bidder will get to drive that car during the parade laps of the Indianapolis 500. Can you imagine that? In front of that crowd, you get to drive this beautiful new Camaro. What a